Hello, this is Frank with Frank's Beautiful Rocks and Minerals. To see my collection of beautiful rocks and minerals, which I have prospected from across the United States and other countries, type in on YouTube, Rock and Mineral Identification, followed by my name, Frank Riser, space, capital M period, capital S period. Riser is spelled R-E-I-S-E-R. I encourage you to go out into the field yourself and prospect for those beautiful rocks and minerals. And always remember, there are a lot of grab samples that laying on the ground to pick up, so keep looking down and searching for them. You can support my channel on Patreon. On Patreon, simply type in my name, Frank Reiser, M period, S period, and I appreciate your financial support. Your contributions go to me being able to buy more materials to bring you fascinating science demonstrations. Today's demonstration is in chemistry. We're going to look at what I call the beautiful flaming aluminum foil reaction. Let's get to the demonstration. In this experiment, aluminum will be added to aqueous solution of copper 2 sulfate in the presence of a catalyst, HCl. I'll be using HCl, which comes in 16 molar concentrated form. I'll be, I, I'm going to dilute it to 1 molar concentration. A single replacement reaction will take place, the products being aluminum sulfate, and copper metal. And here we see the reaction. Two aluminum ions plus three copper sulfate molecules yields aluminum sulfate plus three copper metal. Okay, I have a beaker. In the beaker I'm going to place a stirring rod and I'm going to add seventy five milliliters of water. And in another beaker, I'm going to add 10 milliliters of hydrochloric acid, 16 molar. This is producing a solution over one molar, but I don't trust it. I think it needs to be more acidic. We'll see. And I pour the water into the acid. Always pour water into acid. If you pour acid into water, it splatters and can burn you. Now I'm going to put this on the hot plate. Turn on the stir. No need for heat, just stirring. Then I'm going to take my copper sulfate and I'm going to add it into a spoon. I don't have to measure it precisely.
and put it into the beaker. I'll add a little more. And we should be good there. And now we let it mix. For this demonstration, I need to turn the lights off. That looks like it's all mixed. Now I'm going to add the aluminum foil. I'll place it in there and then light it with a lighter because the, re double, the single replacement reaction is going to produce hydrogen gas which is flammable but I need to turn the light off so you can see the flame We can already see the copper sulfate burning and the copper metal being released in the blue flame. It is reacting. See it? Beautiful blue flame of the copper. Isn't that spectacular? How God causes all these chemical reactions to occur.
this demonstrates it's a beautiful blue flame bluish green flame light and on fire it burns because the acetic acid and the aluminum are reacting to make hydrogen gas and the color is coming from the copper ions leaving the copper metal is a single replacement reaction now you will notice in the beaker and I'll point it out to you the formation of this red material this formation is pure aluminum metal It's very exothermic, releasing heat energy. And this is Frank with Frank's Beautiful Rocks and Minerals, always reminding you to find those minerals and rocks to keep looking down.